What you guys got another video here for you. What is Groove Music and how to use it? That's what we're taking a look at in this video. Now, quite a few people have requested this one, so I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how to use Groove Music. It's not my go-to uh, music uh, player, but it is built into Windows, and this is how you use it. So basically type Groove Music into search, and you will see uh, all of the music you have inside your music folder. It automatically, by default, finds music that is in your music folder on Windows 10. Now you can also add custom locations as well, and I'll show you how to do all of that in this video. So you can see here, we've got our music folder. I've got a, a folder in here called Reggae, and basically inside here, I've got some music, and this is the music it's found right here. It's unorganized. It doesn't have any genre or anything like that, and I'll show you how to edit all this stuff uh, later on so you can see here shuffle all and you've got the date added so you've got your sort by and then all genres uh, and there's only one other genre which is unknown genre so depending on how many genres you have in here you can search each individual genre by putting it into that little location it'll all come a bit clearer later on in the video so let's first click on the settings cog here and this is where you can make some changes to the actual application Okay, so let's take a look at our settings here. So mode is where you can set your light mode or dark mode or use system settings. We can also uh, set the now playing artist as our wallpaper on our system. You can also display uh, artist art, uh, set the now playing artist art for my lock screen. Media info automatically retrieve and update missing album and metadata. You've got your equalizer here. Now under the custom area, you've got some other areas here which you can put on like bass boost and other things like that. It will automatically set this up as you like. Uh, you've got headphones here and other bits and pieces as well. You can also set these up manually by just dragging these up and down. So you've got your mid lows, your lows, mids and mid high and high. And basically that's how you can set those up yourself. So depending on what you want to uh, have maybe a bit more bass or a bit more treble depending on how you want to set it up music on this pc choose where we look for music this is where you can add your uh, music collection depending on where it is now by default you can see here users your username and music which is the music folder on your pc you can add other folders into this uh, location you can add usb flash drives you can add just singular folders or you can add whatever you like here so I'm going to add this folder in here and you can see it's added that into the list. Now, if I added the whole um, USB flash drive, it will literally put all of my music on that USB flash drive onto the system and link to it. And basically we can play that as is straight from the USB flash drive. So let's go to my music. So you can see here, my music is where we started out. There's a big list of music here. Now you can break this down by selecting a certain type of genre and it will put all of that genre in one uh, group here if we've got recent played here and we also have now playing and you can shuffle that music so it will shuffle the music in a random uh, sequence you have also got playlist this is where you can create your playlists now this is a really good little feature for adding in certain playlists different sort of moods you might be in uh, so you can do 80s reggae 80s um you know chart music whatever you like here you just create your own little playlists and then you can add in your music from your main selection of music which means you can just play on that so you can rename it pin it to start delete and add to and play all there's no music in here at the moment but to do that all you need to do here is go back to my music and then you can highlight what songs you want to put into that playlist and it will automatically just play that playlist from the selection of songs that you've chosen. So you just uh, choose which song you want here, and then you can right click and add to, and you can see here, there's your little playlist. You can create your own playlist from here as well. We can add them to this 80s reggae, just something like that, okay? And you can see here, I've got four songs added to the playlist here, which means uh, those songs will be played when I click on that playlist. Now, the artist is pretty much self-explanatory. That is all of the uh, song artists that will be inside here, and they can be groups or individuals, uh, and you can add those in. And they will have their images there as well 
but it doesn't do a fantastic job at finding all of those artists for certain types of genre. So here we have our reggae uh, playlist, which we just created. And if I click on this here, it will automatically go ahead and start to play uh, my selection of music. And you can have this uh, playing on a loop. You can add more to this playlist if you wish. You can change the uh, fan art cover for the uh, album up the top here. And also you can do a bunch of other stuff as well here like shuffle you can shuffle this and you can also repeat and have this on continuous repeat so if you're busy and you just want it repeating you can do that as well so there we go there's your little selection stuff here you can save this as a playlist and so on so there's a load of uh, things you can do here you can also delete here and add to more stuff there so let's go back and go to another playlist here just want to create one more playlist just to show you and you can call this whatever you like, 90s, uh, say, for instance, uh, dance hall or something like that. And and basically add all your music to there as well. And this will start to create little playlists here. As you can see, we've got two groups here now. And all you'd need to do here is do the same thing. Basically, go to your music and add songs into that playlist. Very simple and easy to do. Now, any time you add music into your music folder like this, it will automatically be detected by Groove Music and added to the list. So let me go back here and just show you here. So I'm going to go back into my music area. I've just added some more albums inside here. And basically, you'll see that they have now been detected by Groove Music. So if I go back to my music up the top here, and we'll be able to see that they have now been added. And you can now see that it's starting to add the fan art and other things like that. Now, obviously, some more popular uh, artists, it may well know who those artists are. But some more unknown artists like reggae artists, some of them are not so well known. It might not be able to find those and you might have to manually add those in. Now, you can see it's not really detected all of the fan art. We've got an album here by Boston. And if you want to get really good accuracy with this sort of stuff, you need to use something like mp3 tag which is going to allow you to tag uh, all of your music so basically change all the tagging on it and that's another video in itself to organize all of your music so you basically would add all of your title and all of your fan art and stuff like that inside there and it will allow you to change it but you can do it inside here as well and i'll show you how to do all this inside here if you wanted to do it it is a bit laborious and a bit time consuming you can see it does give you some nice information up here, uh, but it is very limited, but it does a pretty good job for most people. So let me just show you uh, some other stuff we can do here. Now, more common and popular music like uh, Roger Waters and uh, Bowie, it found that uh, album art much more easier. Now, if you're looking for something with much more uh, control over your music, if you have loads of it, then something like Music B would be a better option for you. You can download this and install it, and this will allow you to manage all of your music and play it in a much more organized fashion. And this is my personal preference. Now, something like this, you can see here, I've now got sections like genre of rock and reggae, and you can select whatever you like here. All genre will basically put them all in a big list. Whereas if you put rock, it will just show you the rock stuff that you have. But you can see here, we do have some unknown artists. You can right click on these and edit the info. And you'll see what's happened here. It's give us the single title or the song title. And basically what we need to do here is uh, put some other information in it inside here. Now you can use MP3 tag or something like that, which is much more better and easier. Whereas this is a bit more laborious, but you can do it and uh, tidy this up a little bit here and paste this information in. Now, obviously, album title would be the album. But if it's a single uh, from an album, then you would want to put that album in there as well, just so it gets the information in and give it a genre as well. And you can show some uh, advanced options available here. Put the year in as well and then basically uh, click save. I'm just going to put a random year in here just to show you. Um, but basically, that's what it would do. And then you would have it organized and you'd be able to find that music a lot more easier when you've got loads of music on your system. It will make things a lot more easier for finding certain tracks and other things like that. So basically, that's how you can edit the music here. 
let me show you how you can edit the uh, album covers and uh, stuff like that so go back into here and you'll see here we do have boston here which doesn't have album art right click on it go edit info inside here this will open up this album info here you can now show advanced options make sure that's on and you can find album info by clicking on the find album info and basically uh, you can just manually put this in if you wish it's entirely up to you uh, but if you wanted to manually do it you just click on this here and basically edit this and then it will find the album art online so you would go and find the album cover or sometimes when you've uh, got these that they will have album art inside them click on this and then click save and that will be the album art that you have here i'll quickly show you find album info as well so you can see how that works to use the find album info you can right click on an album cover go edit info and you'll see this find album info here and you can click on this and it will try to find some album info from the metadata now depending on what your metadata is uh, set up like this will determine how accurate this is now it might be able to find it on more common music but reggae music is a little bit more difficult so that's basically how you can organize your music and your album art and, and artist art. That's basically how you can do that. Now, your artist here, once you've got this all set, when you go into your artist area here, so let me just quickly uh, go here and I'll show you how this looks. So when you go here, it will start detecting them and it will start finding these uh, artists and putting some information about them. So when you click on this, it will give you some information, okay? So that's basically how you can use uh, Groove Music. It is free and it is installed inside Windows 10, which means you don't have to download any sort of software. There is other software out there available, which I think is better, but your choice is yours. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.